Attorney.com minsan dahil sa kakulangan ng impormasyon, maraming uri ng sakit ang lumalala dahil sa late diagnosis. Gaya ng sakit na diabetes, lalo na po sa mga bata. O kita mo, Attorney Dot, bata pa lang, may diabetes na, Attorney. Yes, Miss Annie, and you've heard it right, mga kasangbahay, na maaari rin pong magkaroon ng sakit ng diabetes ang maliliit nating mga anak. And for us to be informed about it, isang pediatric endocrinologist ang ating inimbitahan mula po sa Cardinal Santos Medical Center and St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City. Please welcome po, walang iba kundi si Dr. Anne-Marie Tanting. Dr. Anne, good afternoon po and welcome po sa Servisyong Bayanihan. Hello po, Dr. Anne. Hello, good afternoon, Attorney and Miss Andy. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very okay. much, Doctor. Manaming salamat. Yes. Ayan. Attorney, alam mo, kami busy po, yan, um, pero siningit niya kami. Oh, Tayo. Oh. Kaya nga, kaya nga. At kami po ang nagpapasalamat po ng todo-todo po sa inyo because you gave us this time. We know how busy you are. So, Doctor Anne, wala na pong paligoy-ligoy pa. Please briefly explain to us and to all the people who are watching us and listening to us, what is diabetes po, Dr. The easiest way to explain diabetes is that um, sa bata, even sa matanda, mataas ang blood sugar or glucose sa katawan. Pero bakit tumataas ang blood sugar or glucose? Ang ibig sabihin, meron na tayong problema sa katawan, hindi natin napoproseso ang sugar, kaya siya tumataas. Kasi normally, pag kumain tayo, napoproseso ng katawan natin. It gets deposited so that we can use it as fuel for the body. But for diabetics, hindi na nila kaya iproseso yan sa katawan nila. I see. Okay, so Miss Annie, ibig sabihin daw, ito ko, ngayon ko lang ito naintindihan, ha? ibig sabihin daw, meron ng problem dun sa katawan mo. Kaya, hmm. meron kang high blood sugar at saka high or or high glucose. So, Miss Ani, mm -mm. eto napakaganda to na ating uh, mapapakinggan ngayon. Matututo tayo. Ifo-forward ko po ito sa lahat po ng mga kaibigan ko. Merong mataas na sugar at saka mataas na glucose. And Miss Ani, isa pang tanong bago po ibigay ko sa inyo ang go, screen. Go, go. Attorney Dr. Dr. Ann, yes. Paano po ba maaaring magkaroon ng diabetes ang mga bata sa kanilang murang edad? At anong klaseng diabetes po ang maaari nilang ma-acquire? Ito po, ibibigay po natin sa mga merong anak na bata. Dr. Ann? So, there are two ways that you can usually get diabetes. Meron nat natin sinasabihan na genetic. So, may lahi ba sila na magkakaroon talaga sila ng diabetes? So, that's only half of the problem. Because the other half is environment din. Ano ba ang pinapakain mo sa anak mo? Ano yung ginagawa ng anak mo kaya siya nagkakaroon ng diabetes? So, we always emphasize it is both your genetics plus your environment or your lifestyle that contributes to having diabetes. Now, uh, pwede bang, kung may lahi tayong diabetes, you have higher risk factors, definitely. Pero, hindi naman ibig sabihin na meron ka ng death sentence kasi ang parents mo may diabetes. For sure, magkakaroon na, na rin ako ng diabetes. What you do to your body or what how you take care of your body will also determine if you will have diabetes in the future. Kaya yun yung palaging sinasabi namin, it goes hand in hand. Na yung risk factor mo ng genetics, pero yung ginagawa mo or yung lifestyle mo will also contribute to diabetes. The second is, unfortunately, dati, they would always say that children will only get type 1 diabetes. But because of the changes in our lifestyle and intake of fast food, even what we call adult onset diabetes or type 2 diabetes is also being seen in children now. Wow. Wow. Nako. Yes, nakakatakot yan. Nako. Marami Oh, oh, marami akong itatanong pa, but I will give now the screen to you para naman matanong may mga gusto mong itanong. Go Thank ahead, you very much, Sunny. Attorney Dot. Maraming salamat, Attorney Dot. Kanina po'y binabanggit si Doktora, saan ito naku nakukuha? Bakit? Saan? Ayan. Sabi niya, yeah. genetics, environment, lifestyle. Ayun. Oh. Ah. Tapos, may binanggit din si Doktora. Yun sa mga bata, nakakakita ka na ng type 1 
diabetes at mayroon din type 2. Pwede bang paki-explain ito, Doktora? Ano ba itong type 1? Ano ba itong type 2 diabetes? Ano ba ang pinagkaiba nito? Okay. Go ahead, Doktora Ann. Thank you. Okay. So, type 1 is when we have ang tinatawag natin ng pancreas or ang lapay in, in Tagalog is no longer working or producing insulin. So, that means that kahit na nag-intake tayo ng glucose, hindi na kaya ng body i-process at all. So, these are the type of diabetes that you really need to inject insulin. Okay? No choice na. Usually, na nakikipag-bargain pa yung parents na baka naman pwedeng uminom muna ng gamot, ayaw ko mag-inject ng insulin. But, if your child has type 1 diabetes, no choice ka na because your body is already not producing insulin, you really have to take, um, you really have to have insulin injections. Type 2 diabetes naman, ang ibig sabihin yan, your body is still producing some insulin, but you cannot process it very well, or it's not very effective. These are the types of um, diabetics that baka if we make lifestyle interventions like weight loss and you take some oral medications, pwede pa. You don't really need insulin injections. But kung may type 2 diabetes ka, hindi mo inalaga ng sarili, eventually you might also need insulin injections. So yun yung main difference na, na kailangan ko na ba ng insulin injection kaagad or baka pwede pang mag-lifestyle intervention ako and uh, take oral medications. Ayan pala, Attorney Dot. Type okay. 1, anong sabi niya? Ni Doktora uh, Dr. Ann, kung yung lapay mo hindi na nagpuproduce ng, uh, ng insulin, naku, no, no choice na daw. mag inject na daw ng insulin. Kaya pala may mga nakikita tayo, no po, Attorney, na talagang nag inject sila. Ah, nag inject na sila ng insulin. Attorney Dot, alam ko, you're very interested. Ganon din ako, very interested din dito sa topic na ito dahil titinan mo, Attorney, bata pa may diabetes na paano nangyari yan? Sige, Attorney, tuloy tayo para ma-educate tayo ng gusto ni Dr. Ann. Go ahead, Attorney Dot. Thank you. Yes, Miss Annie. Ang isang gusto kong tanungin, meron po bang relation ang isang, kumare there's a nursing mother, no? Nagpapasuso pa siya. And the mother really loves to drink a lot of coffee, take a lot of sweets, nagkake cake parate. Yan po ba pwede ng yung bata na sumususo sa kanya? Pwede po bang makuha na niya yung problema? Pwede po bang maging start na po yan? And usually po, Yung sinasabi po natin na we find out today that even young children already have diabetes. What is usually the start? Oh, the, I mean, what age do you find uh, diabetes? Where, when does it start, Doctora? Okay, so the, those are two questions. So, the um, question then is, yes. if the mother does not take care of herself while breastfeeding, can she cause her child to have diabetes? Well, um... The honest answer during breastfeeding, no. Okay? Pero what the, the the main concern there is kung ang nanay walang control while breastfeeding, most likely pagbuntis siya wala rin siyang control. And that would have a bigger impact on the child. Bakit? Because the mother That's... can develop what we call gestational diabetes during pregnancy. So if she has uncontrolled mm -hmm. gestational diabetes, during pregnancy, number one, her baby can come out what we call large for gestational age. Ito yung mga 9 pound, 10 pound babies kasi uncontrolled yung glucose, di ba? So the studies have already shown that if the mom has gestational diabetes, the child would have a higher risk later on of developing type 2 diabetes. Tapos, the second thing is, Siyempre, kung hindi healthy eating si mommy while breastfeeding, what kind of foods will she be giving the child later on when the child is one year old, two years old? Most likely, high sweet foods din, di ba? So, this is where your environment yes. will come into play. Kasi, it's not the fact that the mommy was taking, let's say, soda during breastfeeding, causing the child to have sweets or a sweet tooth, but the fact that if the mom is a chronic soda drinker, so this this is something the child will see when the child is growing up, one year old, two years old. So most likely, magiging soda drinker rin yung child. So this is your environmental influence. Okay? So this is the risk factor that will make the child more prone to diabetes later on. 
because the environment okay. the child will not be exposed to healthy foods okay so it's not that mm-hmm. so it's not what the mom was doing while she was breastfeeding but the environment the child is growing up in and at the same time yes. uh, was the mother taking care of herself while she was pregnant with the baby okay yes tapos so, yung second yes, question niyo ano ho yung text Oo, oh, so ano ho yung second question ninyo na ano? Ayan, Miss Ani. Attorney. <laughs> Miss Ani, ano uh-uh. na yung second question uh-uh. ko? Nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doktora, pero hindi ah. Uh, okay. Kung maalala Sorry. po natin, napakaganda po nung sinabi po ninyo kasi oo nga naman, kung nung siya ay nag-nurse at mahilig na siya sa mga matatamis, nagsusoda hmm. siya, Ibig sabihin, yun ang kanyang kasanayan. No? I, mean, I mean, it's Correct. her practice. It's her lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So definitely, while the child mm-hmm. is growing up, that's what she will see from the mother. And not only the mother, uh, even the father is also important. Ha? Makakala nyo, nakakalusot mm-hmm. kayo mga father. Because nakikita <laughs> kayo ng mga anak po ninyo. So, uh, what Dr. I say saying is that uh, sa lahat po kayo, ng mga nanonood at nakikinig po sa atin, kailangan po good example po kayo sa inyong mga anak because whatever you're doing yung mga anak po ninyo gagayahin and of course kung ano yung kinakain ninyo minsan yan din kadalasan yan din po ang ipapakain ninyo sa mga anak ninyo Miss Annie go ahead thank you, Baka thank you very much question okay uh, <laughs> pasensya ka na attorney Dot uh, nung, nung nire-raise mo yung ganung klaseng question I was attending to uh, one uh, public service uh, my apology attorney okay. Dot And then no this problem, time, doctor. okay. Ay, uh, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 O oh, kaya anong edad na yan? Uh, basta hindi namin katulad, ano po, yung mga bata na binabanggit natin. Ano yung symptoms na para masabi mo na mayroon na itong diabetes? Uh, habang hindi pa naman siya napo, uh, pupunta doon sa, ano po, sa doktor, hindi pa siya napapacheck up. Para maging aware, ano yung mga paratandaan niya? O, oh, mga nanay, pakinggan nyo itong explanation na gagawin ni Doktora Ann. Go ahead po, Doktora. Thank you po. Okay. Miss Ani, bago natin pasagutin so, si Doktora, bigla yeah. kong naalala because yes, of your yes, question. Yes, Ang question Dan. ko kanina, yung second question ko related dun sa iyo, no? Uh, kailan po ni, I, I mean, ilang taon po yung pinakabata po ninyo na nakita na merong diabetes? And okay. related po yan ngayon sa question ni Miss Ani, ano yung symptoms para malaman mo na merong diabetes yung bata? Thank you, Attorney. Yan, Dr. Ann, so, go ahead po. So, so, number one, unfortunately, okay, there are some genetic conditions. So, genetic conditions, there is something really wrong with the genes. You can get diabetes as young as six months, but that is very, very rare. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. But what we are seeing is that probably 20 years ago, we were seeing type 1 diabetics, mga 4, 5, 6 years old. Unfortunately now, we are seeing, kahit na wala silang genetic condition, as young as 2 to 3 years of age, nagkakaroon na sila ng diabetes. But then when we go back to the history like we talked about, yung environment talaga nila, very uh, loaded with you know what 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 is the child eating what if you ask typically yun na nga naka sodas naka juices naka sanay sila na ano so um we've seen it as young as one to two years of age that they're developing type 1 diabetes so unfortunately they're getting younger and younger okay so the second question how do you know your child is developing diabetes so ang typical answer is that um Palaging gutom yung bata, palaging uhaw or inom ng inom. And then the third, parang palaging nagba-bathroom. But it's very hard for parents to tell, malay mo, matakaw talaga yung anak niya. Or palaging nagba-bathroom visit kasi gusto niya yung banyo. Okay? What we have noticed is one thing very significant is unexplained weight loss. So, there is no reason for your child to lose weight, pero nangangayayat. That would be one big major sign that you need to have your child check. Um, 
I have a lot of patience, Chubby. Kasi Filipinos, di ba, mahilig sila na cute ang baby, cute ang bata. Pero, kasi, kung mataba. Okay? So, usually, sinesemonan ko na hindi healthy na Chubby. Now, if I see my patient come back and then biglang nangyayat, they lost 5 pounds, 10 pounds. Tatanungin ko sa parents, what did you do? Pag sinabi ng parents na dinayat ko, well and good. Pero kung sinabi ng parents, matakaw pa rin yung anak ko, malakas kumain, malakas uminom, pero nangangayayat, that is a big red flag. There is something going on with your child. So usually, ang sinasabi ko sa parents, kailangan sinecheck ninyo yung timbang ng anak. Kung biglang nangayayat for no reason whatsoever, there is something going on. The other thing about going to the bathroom all the time is if yung child mo is already toilet trained, so 4 years old, 5 years old, goes to the bathroom, di na nagwiwiwi sa bed, then all of a sudden starts bed wetting, there might be something wrong. And you have to have your child checked also. Okay. So mayroon na silang mga okay. natutunan dyan. At 30 dot. Ayan, no? Tandaan niyo yes. po yung sinabi ng doktora. Yes, Miss Annie. Gutom. Mm -mm. Ah, gut mm -mm. Always, hungry. Always ah? hungry. Always hungry. Opo. Always Tapos, thirsty. Oo. Opo. Inom ng inom ng tubig. Punta ng punta dun sa bathroom. At nakikita nyo na nangangayaya. And there's no reason naman para to lose weight. Ha? Yun ay palatandaan ninyo. Ha? Mga nanay at mga tatay na nakikinig at nanonood. Sige. So, Attorney Dot, ituloy natin ang ating pagtatanong. Red flag na po yun para ipacheck up dun sa doktor. Go ahead, Attorney Dot. Thank you, Dr. Raan. Yes. Mm. Yes, Miss Annie. <clears throat> ano mo, I remember my, my daughter when she was very young, talagang tumaba ng tumaba. And I brought her to the pediatrician for a checkup and the doctor, the pediatrician said, Nako, itigil mo na yan. Papa, ano, padayat mo na yan. So, nagpapasalamat ako dun sa aking pediatrician. So, ganun dapat ang gawin ng mga pediatrician as, as uh, mentioned already earlier by doctora. So, doctora, you already mentioned that there are mga palatandaan, there are symptoms, there are signs na meron ng diabetes yung anak ninyo. But if, for instance, I have a suspicion already that my small child has diabetes and then i go to you how do you uh, how do you diagnose meron po bang mga test test po ba yan uh, nagdila laboratory po ba ninyo yan thank you doctor okay so very simple test we can do in fact i have had patients diagnosed with diabetes by the lolas at home uh, they, we can check their blood glucose, yung finger prick test, di ba? Which the diabetics, ano, that can give you, ano, even sa clinic pa lang, kung mataas ang blood glucose, alam na natin. We can also draw the blood to check for blood sugar. So that would be something you can do in the laboratories. And then the third way we can do sometimes is uh, we can check sa ihi. We have patients kasi akala nila may UTI sila. Nagpa-check sila, nagpa-urinalysis yung pala meron ng glucose sa urine so that is another way for us to say na abnormal to it is always abnormal to have glucose in the urine of a child so syempre based on that we would not say na may diabetes ang bata pero pag yung ihi niya may sugar na na nakikita that would be an indication for us to do a blood test to double check for diabetes so ibig sabihin i require nila attorney dot Ah, kung magpupunta doon sa doktor, mm. i-require nila na magdala nung ano, nung urine ng bata, ha, para ma-check, ha. Uh, tama 'yun, doktora. Dito mat matitingnan kung um, yung sa ihi. No naman, we don't ano. We usually do a blood test. Pero sometimes routinely, kunwari nagpa-urinalysis ka lang, may nakita kaming ihi. We've I've had that with provincial patients eh. Galing sa probinsya, ang wala raw silang masyadong extensive um, laboratories. Pero nagpa-urinalysis sila, nakakita sila na merong glucose, sinan na sila sa Manila for testing. Okay? So, okay. usually, diagnosis of diabetes is really blood test. Pero, uh, okay. the urinalysis, if it's abnormal, can, can be used as a sign that we need to do blood tests. Okay. D Doctor, aliwanagin ko ulit. Kanina may binabanggit kayo, at any, yung finger prick, yung parang uh, uh -huh. may karayom na ano po, matitest yes. yung glucose yun. You can present that? For, ano? For uh, test also? No, no for... Um, kasi the finger prick will 
some patients, like for example, kung meron kayong lahing diabetes, di ba yung mga matanda nag-check ng fingerprint? Prick. Um, some mothers have done that at home na pag chinek nila, nag-read ng high, then you bring it to your doctor. But of course, the most reliable would really be to go to a laboratory and have a blood test done. Oh, okay. Okay? okay. That's very But this clear. should be done in in coordination with your doctor. Kasi naman, kawawa naman, iba blood test mo yung anak mo kung hindi ka pa naman sure, di ba? So that would be giving you a suspicion na I need to have my child checked. Go see your doctor, tell your problem, and then siya yung magre-request for blood test for your child. Yeah, that's very clear, Attorney Dot. Kasi kawawa naman talaga. Oh, kung yung bata pa, uh -oh. pakatapos yung mga ganong klaseng uh, ano, treatment ay uh, ano uh, may experience niya. Uh, po. Atter Thank you, Dr. Raan. Balik ko ulit si Attorney Dot Gankai ka. Attorney, please go ahead. Thank you. Yes. Yes, totoo yan. Sa anin, nakakaawa naman yung mga prinipreak yung mga bata. I'm sure mag-iiyakan yan, pero wala tayong choice kung talaga meron siyang diabetes. So I would now like to ask our last question kasi wala na tayong time. No? Doktora Ann, um, we know about yung mga adults, how they are being treated, but how, what about children who have diabetes? How are they given treatment? And maaari po ba itong mawala sa kanyang pagtanda kung magagamot ng tama or will it be there for a lifetime? Thank Very you, Dr. Very good it, it depends Thank on you. what kind of diabetes you have. If mm -hmm. you have type 1 diabetes, unfortunately, you have to be on insulin for life. So you have to take insulin injections along with proper diet and wow. exercise. Okay. Now, kung type 2 diabetes, ito yung nakikita natin na medyo chubby kasi siya. Kaya type 2 diabetic siya, ito yung sinasabi ko sa parents na lifestyle intervention. If we can have normal body weight, so you're not obese or overweight, you take care of your diet, you do proper exercise, we can just put you on medications. And then in some cases, kung maganda talaga yung control niya, we can even take them off medications. Okay? So may chance tayo to control the progression of diabetes. Pero it really depends kung anong klaseng diabetes. Oh, Ayun. Oh, so very clear, Miss Ani. Depende. Oo. Oh, oh. Depende oh, kung anong klaseng diabetes meron ang bata. Meron pa rin naman pag-asa kung yung isang klase. Pero yung type 1, parang medyo mahihirapan na tayo. Lifetime na daw yan. So, Miss Annie, at this point, we have to express our sincerest gratitude to this very knowledgeable doctor, Dr. Anne Marie Tanting, um, pediatric endocrinologist at the Cardinal Santos Medical Center and St. Luke's Medical Center in Quezon City. Thank you so much to you, Doctor, for your time, and we hope to have you back very, very soon.